Okay, so just before I start releasing the Gloucester Park videos, which will actually be an hour, a couple of hours after this one goes out, I thought I'd show you something pretty interesting that happens that uh, had me in hysteria when it did uh, while I was at Gloucester Park uh, during my visit there. Now I thought I'd make this video because initially I was supposed to be getting 14 videos, um, but I ended up getting 11, and that was because four of the videos were supposed to be on rides. Um, but I was unable to get them because I forgot my wallet, uh, there were no contactless cash machines anywhere in the town of Gloucester and none of the rides were actually accepting contactless cash. Um, I only ever ended up getting one on ride and that was of the Superstar, um, but the only reason why I was able to do that was just because of the relationship I have with John Evans Jr who owns the ride. I'm actually helping him out with a lot of things as well when it comes to the re-theming of the ride uh, because he's moving away from the Airwolf theme and he's moving on to the Superstar theme and I will be helping him out with a few things relating to that and he just let me on but I didn't tell you that. So anyway I just thought this video would be something funny because of just the thing that happens and at first you might think I might be making a bit of a big deal out of this which will be understandable why you may think that but as the video goes on you will see the reason why I'm showing the footage and why I am talking about this. So just under a week ago, I made a video about how I was getting some emergency videos of some of my fair visits, living into rides that I don't see very often. Um, now, the reason that I was doing that, uh, for those who didn't see the video, was because if uh, fairs, for whatever ha reason in the world, cannot happen, or I cannot go out and get fun fair videos because of stuff that may happen beyond my control, um, I will have a batch of videos that will be new, exclusive, never before seen footage, uh, ready for it in case something in the world does happen, but that could potentially be decades away Which if that is the case it would be pretty interesting. So uh, hello future self if you are watching this So anyway on to the reason why I'm making this video So one of the emergency videos I was filming was of a super bob I haven't seen for three years um, Prior to filming this and seeing it at Gloucester Park was uh, Darren DeCon in Snowstorm So I filmed uh, this video on my GoPro rather than the Lumix camera as I have been doing with all of these emergency videos so it makes it feel different, so it doesn't feel like uh, people are watching the same stuff over and over again. And so it just feels different uh, rather than compared to the video film on Lumix rather than on the GoPro Hero 7, if you kind of know what I'm talking about. But I probably wasn't very clear on that, so anyway. Now I ended up having to get another take of uh, doing this. Um, I was doing one take, but um, I ended up having to get another one because of these two girls, who were clearly at some point aware that I was standing there filming a ride and it's inexcusable to say oh but they probably didn't see you there but knowing that they were looking all over the place and where they were going and where they were heading and exactly the spot where they were standing they would have surely seen me at some point especially in the corner of their eye that I was standing there filming a ride and they ended up standing in front of me for the majority of that cycle and to add insults to injury, not only were they standing, not only were they standing right in front of me, but they also moved closer backwards towards me and allowed their Dalmatian balloon to wave right in front of my camera. God damn it. Now you are probably sitting there thinking, hang on, isn't he making that big of a deal out of this? And you're probably right. But there's a particular reason why I'm showing off this footage, because a couple of minutes after the cycle finished, something glorious happened. So after that cycle briefly finished, I think they went on to hop on the ride for the next cycle, and then this happened. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sorry, but you got what you f***ing deserved. Sorry, but if you stand in front of a camera like that and allow your balloon to wave below and obstruct my camera's field of vision, like in the way you did, karma is a bitch and I expect it to get to you at some point. Um, not too harshly, but just in a light, in sort of a light-hearted manner. But um, it was just funny to see. I mean, I don't even know where to go with this video. 
I didn't even know where else to take it. Or I just thought, I just thought this would be something just to fill the void because I got an odd number of Lost Apart videos. I thought I'd do this just to even it out a little bit. Um, but it's not every day you see something glorious like that happen. Um, so I'm going to finish off this video right there just to save my sanity. And uh, see you in a couple of hours with the walk around of Gloucester Park. So see you later.